After spending the last few weeks playing Overwatch 2, I learned quite a few tips and tricks that changed how I played going forward. This includes what the difference is between Overwatch 2's battle passes, how to level up your battle pass quickly, how combat has evolved, and how Overwatch 2's new heroes fit in with the old crew. Here's everything I wish I knew about Overwatch 2 before jumping into play. As part of its move to free-to-play, Overwatch 2 is adopting a battle pass system. This includes both a free battle pass and a premium battle pass, which players can buy for 1,000 Overwatch coins or roughly 10 US dollars. These battle passes will last the entire duration of an Overwatch 2 season, or roughly 9 weeks, and offer a wide assortment of cosmetics and other goodies players can earn simply by playing the game and progressing through the pass's 80 tiers. So, what are the differences between the two passes? For starters, players who purchase the premium battle pass will have access to any new heroes instantly, whereas those using the free pass will have to wait until they hit tier 55. Based on my experience with the game, this could take quite a bit of time, as an hour of gameplay will generally only raise you up a tier or two. The premium battle pass also grants players a 15% experience bonus, meaning they'll progress through the pass much quicker, and access to other unlocks, including more intricate cosmetics and mythic skins. Another new feature in Overwatch 2 are challenges, which can be divided into six categories – daily, weekly, season, competitive, lifetime, and hero. Challenges range from simple tasks, such as winning matches or getting a certain number of kills. Not only are they the fastest way to progress through your battle pass and earn some sweet Overwatch coins, they will also just make you a better player, which will help both you and your teammates in the long run. Chances are, the first thing you'll notice when jumping into a match of Overwatch 2 is its pivot to 5v5 matches. Whereas Overwatch featured 6 heroes on each team, generally 2 damage, 2 support, and 2 tanks, Overwatch 2 eliminates one of these tanks, shrinking each team by one and subsequently altering the dynamic of battle. Keeping this in mind, I urge players to focus on the objective. Now more than ever, engaging in little side scraps can cost your team the game. I also encourage you to take note of what heroes work best together and which ones take advantage of opponents' weaknesses. For example, flying heroes like Farah greatly benefit from having someone with ranged healing to keep them healthy, such as Mercy or Kiriko. In turn, Farah is incredibly effective against barrier tanks like Reinhardt thanks to her large splash damage. While it might sound like a lot to keep track of, it does get easier with time, and soon it will become second nature. After years of fans longing for a way to merge their Overwatch profiles across various consoles, Blizzard is finally adding cross-progression. With the addition of this feature, players will gain access to all their in-game cosmetics and statistics regardless of what platform they're playing on. So, looking to transfer your Overwatch skins to Overwatch 2? The process is actually pretty simple. First things first, you're going to need to log into whatever console you are playing Overwatch on. Once you are logged in, you should be immediately prompted to identify, select, and confirm the accounts you wish to merge. Players will be able to merge one account from each of the following platforms. Xbox, PlayStation, Nintendo Switch, and PC. Once you complete these steps, Blizzard will prepare your accounts for synchronization. Be warned, however, that if you do not go through the steps to merge your profiles when the game prompts you to, you will forfeit the ability to do so at a later date. Furthermore, once you merge a console account, you will be unable to link to a different console account on the same platform. All players looking to merge their accounts must have a Battle.net account, which you should theoretically have already if you've previously played Overwatch. Once you elect to merge your accounts, all your cosmetics and progress across systems will be stored using this account which will then share the content across your system profiles. Three new heroes are coming to Overwatch, and all of them are extremely viable options to consider when building your team. A DPS hero, Sojourn is a mid-range specialist with incredible mobility and artillery skills. Her primary weapon is a railgun that generates energy on each successful hit and can then consume that power for a high-impact shot. Much like Soldier 76, Sojourn specializes in dishing out moderate yet high-speed damage from a medium distance. This makes her pretty effective at taking down tanks, but puts her at risk of snipers. Described as a fierce and resourceful survivalist, many of Junker Queen's moves are most impactful at close range, including Scattergun and Carnage. She also can inflict a status ailment making it impossible for opponents to heal. 
Junker Queen is great at taking out lower health heroes quickly, whether they're support or DPS, but she is also at risk against other tanks and long range heroes. Kiriko draws much of her power from her spiritualism, which is seen in her homing Ofura, protection Suzu, and ability to summon a Kitsune to lead her team into battle. Kiriko also boasts some impressive movement abilities, such as wall climb and swift step, the latter of which allows her to even pass through walls. Kiriko is a great asset to mobile heroes such as Farah and Genji, and can counter massive AoE attacks such as Junkrat's Riptire. However, as a support character, Kiriko can't take too much of a beating, meaning her ability to reach allies in the heat of battle could lead to her downfall if a DPS hero is around. Although these three heroes might be the only fresh faces, that doesn't mean Blizzard didn't freshen up some fan favorites for the journey ahead. Many of the adjustments made to characters focus on making gameplay more aggressive and high speed. These include eliminating Orisa's shields, Mei's ability to freeze enemies, and Cassidy's flashbang. Furthermore, Bastion will be losing their ability to self-heal, Doomfist is being converted into a much beefier tank, and Sombra will become significantly more deadly with reduced cooldowns and more damage dealing attacks. With all this in mind, my advice is this. Lean into what Overwatch 2 is encouraging. Synergize and play aggressively. So there you have it. That's everything we think you should know before heading into Overwatch 2. Be sure to follow GameSpot on social media for more Overwatch 2 coverage, such as comprehensive character guides and more. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.